Anytime you have an answer with a square root, you want to make sure you completely simplify that square root. And the way you do that is by looking to see if any of your perfect squares can go into that number that's underneath the square root. Your perfect squares are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. Do you know how I'm getting those numbers? That's just 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, and so forth. So you want to look to see if any of those go into the, into 80. I know for a fact 4 goes into 80, but I want to make sure that I have the biggest one. So I also know that 16 goes into 80, and you could just take 80 and divide it by each of those to figure it out. 80 is 16 times 5, so that becomes the square root of 16 times 5, and you can break up the square root of products. So that's the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. The square root of 16 is 4. We don't know the square root of 5. It's not a whole number, basically. It's going to be a decimal. And so that is how you completely simplify the square root of 80. It is 4 square roots of 5.